there are people out there that'll send money to pay for gas and coffee so you can quit your job and ride the Sturgis? Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. My name is Sean, this is UCM Pigs Moto Vlogs, and today we're gonna talk about how generous bikers are, or motorcycle enthusiasts, whatever you wanna call us. Uh, before we get started, let me remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always on my channel, if you don't feel like typing words, just leave me an emoji. Let me know you're here. I'd greatly appreciate that. So, a lot of stuff going on in the motorcycle community right now. I know we're all getting Sturgis to death, um, but a lot of great content coming out of Sturgis. And I just wanted to get out and talk today about motorcyclists, bikers, and their willingness to give. Now, I'm not talking about what I was joking about in my intro, about people that will support people who have quit corporate America to go chase their dreams by capturing content on the back of a motorcycle. Uh, I'm talking about, you know, charitable giving, uh, people raising money for good causes, and doing it via motorcycles. You know, since I've been riding motorcycles majority of my adult life, uh, one thing I've noticed, you know, is people like to give back in this community. Uh, almost any weekend in America, and I'm sure around the world, there is some sort of organized event uh, involving motorcycles, whether it be a show, a poker, a, a show, a poker run, or just something motorcycle related to raise money for a cause. Now these causes range from all different kind of stuff. You'll see stuff for, you know, cancer awareness, for local families, maybe someone in need, a biker down. But one of the ones that's very common across this community are things that benefit veterans. And as a veteran, I think that is a fantastic way to raise money for us. Uh, a lot of people in our community are not able to get the services they need and they rely on organizations to help them in their day-to-day -day life and a lot of us ride motorcycles so we're helping each other and in the military that's one thing we do is we take care of our own. So I want to talk about some of these charities and maybe a little bit of stuff that you didn't know about maybe possibly selecting a charity. Now one thing I want to clarify is I am not here to badmouth any charity in any way. I'm just simply here to talk about some facts that I found just by doing some simple searching online and some things that you could use to maybe determine uh, a charity. Now, we all have different charities that we want to give to. Maybe they've touched us in some way. Uh, you know, something that a friend of ours, ourselves, you know, maybe we've personally benefited from this organization and we want to give back to them. And we're not really worried about any of the other stuff because it had a positive impact in our life or someone that we know's life. And that's well and good. I totally understand that and I totally get it. But when we're talking about these veterans charities, you have to be very careful because there is a lot of people out there who take advantage of veterans. And they throw that name around, they throw that title around, and you've heard about Stolen Valor. Uh, they do the same thing in charities. They're trying to get over on the general public and they'll go places that aren't very military, you know, condensed. You know, like here, we have a huge military population and you can sniff these fake ones out pretty quick. So these are parts of the country that maybe you don't have a strong military presence. People might try to get over on you. They're few and far between, but be on the lookout for them. But if you're looking for a legit charity to raise money for, I'm gonna give you a couple pointers on what you could do to help you make that decision. Now, unless you've lived under a rock, this past summer, Harley-Davidson celebrated their 120th anniversary. And as part of that, uh, Big Motive Vlogger, I'll go ahead and say his name because everybody in the world drops his name and dude probably won't even watch my video. Uh, Adam Sandoval, you probably all know who I'm talking about. He's done this before, um, but he is a huge supporter of the military. Not only with this ride that he did over the summer, but just things he does at his campground and stuff in general. He supports veterans uh, pretty good and my hat goes off to him for that. 
but he did this ride visiting 120 Harley Davidson dealerships and he raised money money for the Wounded Warrior Project. Again, this is an A plus charity on the rating scale. Um, they have a very good reputation and they do a lot of things for people who return home from war and bring stuff back with them. What we call the hidden wounds of war. So he raised a lot of money for this. I don't know the exact amount, but I just want to talk a little bit about Wounded Warrior and a couple other charities and show you a website that you might could use if you're choosing one. Again, not bad mouthing Adam on who he selected. He selected a good charity, but just give you a few facts on them. So one of the things I used was a website or an organization known as the Combined Federal Campaign. I was introduced to this when I was on active duty. If you served in the military or you're a, a DOD civilian, you might be familiar with the Combined Federal Campaign. And this is a fundraiser every year that we do, and we raise money by selecting charities. Each command gets rewarded by the number of people who, who participate in CFC. All the money goes to the charity they select, but CFC just helps you select these charities and select them wisely. So we used to get this booklet, now it's digital, and I'm gonna show you a few things out of there. So what CFC will provide me is they will show me the percentage of my money that is going towards admin. They give me a brief description of the charity and how much of my money goes toward their administrative costs, which means their overhead. It's not really going to the cause. This overhead could be things like salary um, and different things for the employees. So I'm really cautious with that. So getting back to the Wounded Warrior Project, I think it's 27.7% of every dollar uh, goes to their admin. So not too bad, but it is a high amount, especially when I show you some of these other charities. Now we're not even gonna get into CEO compensation or president of the organization compensation. That'll make you mad. Go search that on your own. Look at some of these people's salaries and look at yours. I'm not saying they don't deserve it. I'm not saying it doesn't take a lot to run one of these organizations, but it's a lot of money. Um, but moving forward, the other one I want to talk about is the Gary Sinise Foundation. You guys may have heard of Gary Sinise. He is an actor, uh, Lieutenant Dan. And the Gary Sinise Foundation is one that you can see has a lower percentage rate. It's right around 10%. So right about 10% of the money that you give goes towards admin. The rest goes toward the cost. The last one I want to talk about is one that I know a lot of motor vloggers support, a lot of veteran motor vloggers support, and I've gone to a lot of events um, in support of this organization, is the Fisher House. Uh, the Fisher House does a lot for veterans and active duty and their families. Uh, they provide lodging when someone needs uh, long-term medical care. They do scholarships. They buy airfare if you need to get home for something. They do a lot for veterans and active duty military. Now, Fisher House only takes about 6% of your donation and applies it to admin. I like that. Um, they rely heavily on volunteers, and I really like that about Fisher House. So I feel good about the money that I'm giving or the money I'm raising for Fisher House that I know I can say a majority of it goes to the cause. So, Again, the purpose of this video is not to badmouth anybody. Again, I mentioned Adam Sandoval. Hats off to him. Great job raising the money for veterans. We do appreciate it. But I just wanted to show you some things that you could use, again, when you're thinking about making a large donation to a charity or organizing some sort of charity ride to benefit this charity. Go check out CFC. You don't have to be a government employee. This website's open to anybody. You can use it as a resource, as well as other resources. Just be mindful. The internet's full of trash. So go to multiple sources, look at multiple sources, and figure out what's the best option for you. Don't just go with a single source. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a nice uh, Wednesday evening. I'm cutting it close this week. I'm gonna go home and edit this and get it ready to drop tomorrow. So until we talk again, you guys be careful. You guys be safe. Always keep your shiny side up. And we'll talk to you next time.